Good morning, Liam Payne. Good morning. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm awake. I'm ready. You're awake. You're ready. Yes. This is an exciting day, Liam. Super exciting. It's proper exciting. I know. A, a big crew with you, I see. Is it, how is uh, the vibes in the Liam Payne camp this morning? Vibes in Liam Payne pa- camp. <laughs> 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 if I could say it, 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 it that would really help right about now. <laughs> how do you feel about playing this song then? Because I'm excited. I'm nervous. I'm nervously excited. I'm, I'm happy. I'm just happy to get it out. It's been a, a long time I've had this in the bag, so we've been waiting to play it, so I'm glad we can play it today. <laughs> Who out of like your friends and family love runs? Who was the first person that you played it to to say, have a little listen to this? Um, Probably Shez heard it first out of everybody. Uh-huh. Is that scary playing it to her? Because one, she is a pop star. It is two, scary. you're romanti- because... romantically involved. Yes, so there's two sadly, levels it could, of yeah, judgment it could there. end all things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't like you musically or physically. Um, and what, did she love it straight away? Yes, she did. Yeah. Yes. She's well, she, she knows what's good. Yeah, she does. She's got good taste. Yeah. She likes you. She, she likes, likes me. <laughs> she likes you. <laughs> she likes she this likes song. Us. She likes on the radio together. <laughs> she's loving it. I mean, this she was... better be listening now. She's probably nodded off. Do you think she will be listening this morning? She was up early this morning. I know that much. Because so. sometimes I text her early in the morning and she's not texting me back till like 9, 10 a.m. See, sometimes she's up, but sometimes she's not. It depends when you catch her. Mm, okay. How did you go about working with Ed? And when you all guys went on hiatus, did all, all four members just sprint? Hiatus. Hiatus. All members just sprint to Ed Sheeran's house. Um, like, do you know what? I was, I, was in, I was in a gym. we just flown to LA, and I was in a gym, and I got a call from the label saying, Ed Sheeran's writing a song about you. You need to get home right now. And I just got there, and I was like, all right, then you turn. So you did a quick U-turn of the world, uh, got down there, <laughs> and we did it in literally like we were booked for four hours over two days, and we'd finished in like 30 minutes. So wow. then I don't even know what we did with the rest of the time. I, th- I felt like we went home early. <laughs> so you did that in that half an hour? Yeah, I mean, but he's such a musical beast. It's like, you, know, you can't stop him. Uh-huh. I imagine he's a very inspiring guy to go yeah, up to the studio inspiring. with, Ed Sheeran. Super inspiring. I mean, to the point where it's gotten to to melon, fly- melon fights before. Melon fights? Yes. A me- I don't want you throwing melons around. Melons are heavy. We were when we were at his house the once when we were we did look when we did little things ages ago. You brought out this massive melon. Right. Sorry, I just had to do a sharp right up to camera there for that <laughs> massive melon. Massive melon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we had a big scrap with a massive melon in the back, the back garden. Which was, was it, it was, was, it was like real life fruit ninja. <laughs> for real. <laughs> with Ed Sheeran. With Ed Sheeran. Everyone who comes on has got a mad story about yeah. Ed Sheeran. Like they've That's been just on, They've been on some like crazy night out with him or like Matty Healy told some insane story about going out with him and then ended up at Justin Bieber's house and like Matty did, That's was amazing. Ask, asking Justin for a selfie and it was awkward and stuff. That's a night out. Have you had mad nights out with him? Um, I've had, I was on a night out with him when he came to see us at Madison Square Garden and he was finished off the night in a lift with my parents. I think Taylor Swift might have been in the lift as well and Harry. And uh, he kept just turning him to me in the lift and going, beast. <laughs> like every couple of seconds, just beast. <laughs> People being like the alarm. He wasn't saying any other words. Like, get, <laughs> get me out of here. Ed Sheeran's malfunctioning. <laughs> is the album done? Is it all finished? Uh, it, it is. It is, is and it, it isn't. Sheeran? It is and it isn't. It, it's hard these days because everyone loves to do like really advanced things with their albums and the way they drop them. Uh-huh. Like they did, they've got some sort of creative, inventive way. Like Beyonce did the whole lemonade thing that uh-huh. changed the game up, and now everyone's doing all these album videos and different things going on. So, like, I think we're trying to decide at the moment what's our creative way of doing so. Who has been in touch then to so far to congratulate you on your solo material? Um, have people messaged you? Have been people been sliding into your DMs? Um, a few people have been in touch. Yeah. <laughs> My missus was up early this morning. She's like, it's going well. She did have a, a question for you. Um, oh, here we go. Hang on. She did genuine question. She said... <laughs> genuine real life question. <laughs> genuine real life question. She said, um, are you ever coming home? <laughs> <laughs> what time are you going to be home? Uh, no, she said she's very excited for you. Uh, but she also said you should ask him about bedroom floor. Um, that's one of my favourites. Oh, What's, what's bedroom, bedroom floor? floor? Bedroom floor was like, bedroom floor was the single before this was the single. Right. Um, so now naturally it could only be 
the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be my next single. So, And that's her favourite. She's writing it there, because I'm not even, not even allowed to say that yet. No, not even allowed to say that, but there you go. that was her question for you. I guess she could have asked you. That's so I mean, funny, you yeah, I mean, she could have just asked me at home. <laughs> it's quite weird, yeah, contacting Radio 1. But, yeah, <laughs> but we both like that song. That's her, that's her favourite. That's been her favourite since the start. So if it turns out to be the best one, then she's going to say, ha-ha. I imagine it's like pop star headquarters around Jaws. There is right. a lot of pop star headquarters. Do you know what? Actually, for the, for the first part, I, do, I can't show her anything because we are, we have that thing where we have to hear music proper after a certain amount of time. Right. right? If I show her something that's a half finished, she'll be like that. No, I don't like it. Really? really? Yeah. And she she's open and honest. And she's brutal. Like, there's a song that I've written on the album as well um, that she knows I've written. She's just like, no, I hate it. It's crap. Hate it. Yeah. And does that, because people have to be honest. Like, when I've spoke to like Rita about this when she's been on, and she yeah. says her friends will say, "I don't like that." I'm like, that must hurt a little bit. There's, well, there's, there's a that. little bit of me that died inside when she said it. No, right. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, and that it's, it's, my it's, new I'd rather you know you. She she has to be honest with me. Yeah. Amazing. It's amazing to come out of a band and have so many different styles of music yeah. happen, and everyone's now like, "How was this ever t- together? How yeah. was this ever a thing?" Yeah, but whose I mean, idea was this? I guess when you get back together, because this is a hiatus. Hiatus. <laughs> I've, I, I've been saying a week. I genuinely thought that was some sort of spiritual journey. <laughs> I did. I thought I did. I, I learned a new word when we came out of that break. Or a dip. Like, mm, yeah. I'm gonna have a bit, a few, bit of crisp and a bit of hiatus on the end. Oh, of it. there you go. That's yeah. nice. Nice yes. spicy hummus. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, who said that? Is it Niall? I don't know. Someone, someone, said, someone it. said it in, someone said someone it in a room. A we were like, we're gonna, should, we, should we take a break now? And they're like, all right, oh, we're no. going on a group hiatus. And then I'm like, what? Does, where are we off to? <laughs> I thought we're on some like, sort of like, where is mum driven <laughs> journey across <laughs> some foreign plane. <laughs> where is it? I'm from hiatus. And um, like, when you get, if, if you know, if and when you guys get back together, I, the, yes. the, the, the musical sort of journeys that you've been on, it's gonna, you're gonna come back, you're gonna sound uh, yeah, like Yeah, I wonder Pink what it's gonna sound like. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Every element, be like, your customer when you all come back together <laughs> and got to talk about and i spoke about this to niall and we love this yes and i saw that you christened niall with it earlier yes. this week in america the pain chain the pain sorry chain. sorry 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 no but he the got pain chain. <laughs> talk to me about the pain <laughs> chain man i was doing like hip-hop music and stuff and i was just getting all inspired by it so i went out and bought a big gold chain it is a it is a sick chain where is it it's hidden under. under Let's these, see the pain chain. Do you ever get chain pain? You do. You can get. You can get trapped in in like chest hairs. Ooh. or that's na- that's nasty. Oh, and that is. So I feel th- like you could get that with those risky Look bad boys over there. Look at this. Yeah, I mean that man rog is serious. That's serious. That only happened in, as, as an adult in later life. Yeah, <laughs> and that chain is. You weren't born like that, no. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was. Yeah. <laughs> that chain is sick, Leo. Thank you. Look at the size of it. It's well good. It's next level. It's next level. I feel like, I feel like we, we should have you wear this. Can I, can I wear it? Yes. I won't break it. You promise? No, promise I and won't you'll break give it. Back. I, I promise I'll give it back. Come no, on, let's do this. Or, yeah, no, no, no. I give you, look at my chain. Look how rubbish my chain is next to Liam's. Look at that. Mine's like dental floss. I'm His is like round. rope. He's coming round. I can't believe I'm going to get to wear the pain chain. I'm lo- going to absolutely I'm lose it. That's the, that's the, that's the you have to what? Oh, okay. Here we go. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, my God. That is well heavy. Does it suit me? <laughs> It does actually. Do you think that suits me? I think it does. I think that's a sick new look for me, definitely. All right, well, thanks so much for that gift, Liam. That's really nice that I'm allowed to keep that. Uh, Thank you. Um, Thank you. Money can't buy. Did you ever buy anything like you guys? Because, you know, you're young, you had a lot of money. Did you guys ever buy anything stupid when you were, you know, when you were getting those first One Direction checks? This is genuinely really heavy. How do you wear this? You get get used to it. It takes over you. But do you feel a sense? How do you feel right now? I feel like I'm either a mayor. <laughs> like when, you, your own when you wear it, you look really cool. When I wear it, I look like I'm like I'm the mayor of Rochdale. <laughs> you are, are you? Yeah, I am actually. Yeah, um, um, but yeah, did you buy anything when you were getting those checks? Because if I was like 19 and someone was like, what? "Here's some millions," I'd be like, "Well, I'm going to buy something stupid." I'll say one thing. I have drunkenly bought life-size dinosaurs before, and they're, they're, they're actually in my house, my garden, which is hilarious. Life-size dinosaurs? Real-life life-size dinosaurs. <laughs> what what, what, what uh, species of dinosaur do you have? 
I don't, I don't, I don't know. It was a drunken purchase, and then the one day this guy turned up and was like, oh, "Where do you want your dinosaurs, mate?" And I'm like, "What do you mean? Where do you want your dinosaurs?" <laughs> where do you put your dinosaurs, mate? Great question. Where do you put your dinosaurs? Great question. Have you had them? Um, Liam, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. I'm glad we ended on such weird notes. Me too. I hope that everyone loses the rest of the interview, and it's just that bit of chat. <laughs> that was the best bit. Um, congratulations on the single. I mean, that's going to be a massive smash. That song, isn't it? I hope so. Thank you. Um, really thank you great. for everyone's support so far. It's been great. One.